In this training session, we're going to review the nozzles used on our hand lines for structural firefighting. We're also going to introduce some new techniques used to manage hose lines for effective nozzle placement and proper water application. Let's get to it! Inch and three quarters standing method. Grab the hose approximately one arm's length from the front of the nozzle. Press and secure the hose into your hip crease with the back of your hand. This will allow you to operate the nozzle with ample spacing and allow you to use your core muscles to stabilize the hose line and absorb the nozzle reaction. If necessary, lean into the line to initially counter the nozzle reaction, then find your sweet spot to operate the hose line efficiently. Inch and three quarter kneeling method. Grab the hose with the same technique as the standing method, but instead of standing, kneel with your back leg down. This allows a solid base and keeps your center of gravity low to the ground. Inch and three quarter alternate kneeling method. Kneel directly on the hose approximately one arm's length back from the nozzle with your back knee and pull the hose to the desired position. This allows for a safe, comfortable position and transfers the nozzle reaction into the ground. Inch and three quarter interior crawling method. Place your rear leg over the hose with your forward leg extended. The hose will come up along the ground over your front leg with enough hose to operate the nozzle and stream effectively. This technique allows for you to stay low and avoid the superheated atmosphere. Two and a half kneeling technique. Kneel directly on the hose approximately one arm's length back from the nozzle with your back knee and pull the hose to the desired position. This allows for a safe, comfortable position and transfers the nozzle reaction into the ground. Two and a half inch two person technique. The nozzle person pinches the hose line under his arm with adequate hose in front to effectively operate the nozzle and direct the stream. The assisting firefighter positions himself back to back with the nozzle person to support and stabilize him. The assisting firefighter also grabs the hose to unweight the hose line from the nozzle person. This technique can be used with or without hose straps. All of these techniques take practice to master. The purpose of them is to keep the nozzle out in front for effective hose stream placement and proper water application. It also allows for major muscles to absorb the nozzle reaction and minimize impact on the nozzle person. Metro 1. The Metro 1 nozzle is a 150 GPM at 75 PSI constant gallonage nozzle. This nozzle is utilized on inch and three quarter hand lines. A constant gallonage nozzle means that regardless of the stream pattern, either straight stream or fog, the nozzle is designed to maintain a constant gallonage at the rated pressure. Metro 2. The Metro 2 nozzle is a 250 GPM at 75 PSI constant gallonage nozzle. This nozzle is utilized on two and a half inch hand lines. Again, a constant gallonage nozzle means that regardless of the pattern, the nozzle is designed to maintain a constant gallonage at the rated pressure. The Elkhart 205BA Mystery Tip. 200 GPM at 75 PSI variable flow nozzle. This nozzle is primarily used for high-rise firefighting operations. A variable flow nozzle has a specific rated capacity but is also able to produce a good stream at lower pressures, which may be the case in high-rise operations. This is a very versatile nozzle and can be used in other firefighting operations. It is important for the engineer to know if this nozzle is being utilized due to the differences in hydraulics. Always remember, with interior firefighting, right to fight, left for life, which means right for a straight stream, left for a fog. When advancing the nozzle in a structure, the pattern may inadvertently change. You may have to readjust the pattern back to a straight stream. 